Hey. Okay, one question that I get pretty often is um, download settings. So I'm going to use this as an example, downloading an exported course, just because it's the most common um, use, uh, at the, especially at the beginning of the term. So say I've exported this course from Angel Archive. I want to move it over to Angel Live. If I click on this course, the file just downloads. Now I'm in Google Chrome. This will vary for depending on which browser you're using. And I'm going to make a video for each of the different browsers. But right now I'm in Google Chrome. So I clicked on that. The file downloaded. I don't know where it downloaded to. Instead of just having it automatically download to someplace, I would like it to ask me so I can decide where I, I store that file. Um, makes it much easier to find the file again when you need it. So to do that in Google Chrome, what you do is come over here to the far top right hand side of the page. There's three little lines. This is the menu or settings in Google Chrome. If you click on those or that button and then click on settings from the menu, it's going to open us uh, your settings in a different tab. If I scroll down to the very bottom and click show advanced settings, and then scroll down a little bit more. Okay, I'm looking for the section called Downloads. Okay, So you can change the download location. For example, if you download everything to your desktop, you can just make that your default location and it will just automatically store everything on your desktop. Probably the better option is to just check the box, ask me where to save this file. Okay, Once you're done, you're just going to close that tab. And if I click on this file again, notice now it gives me an option. So I can save it to my documents, click save. Um, but the, the good thing is it actually prompts me, where do you want to save this file? So I know where it's at and I can locate it again.